There is a place in La Gomera called restaurant Las Rosas, it's related to Fred Olsen Fair Company. And in this restaurant uh, they give a show with a single language. Silbo is not easy to hear anywhere else, despite the fact that it's taught at school. But a visit to La Gomera is not complete without a visit to its hidden treasure, Garahanai. National Park of Garahanai is one of the miracles in the modern world. The humid interior of the island hosts one of the last remains of Laura Silva Evergreen Forest worldwide that in the tertiary covered most of the Mediterranean basin, but the Ice Ages isolated and retreated it southwards to the Atlantic Macronesian archipelagos. I'm hiking to, to the top of Garahanai, which is the center of Lagomera Island. Laura Silva is nearly gone in all of the Canary Islands, except the abrupt Gomeran inland, and it constitutes the shelter for several endemic species. The mountain Garahanai is also the highest point of La Gomera, but unlike most peaks, it has archaeological remains on its top from a Guanche sanctuary. It is common to have low clouds caused by the moisture brought by trade winds, both in the top and on the way up, creating a peculiar ambience. It's so misty here. And when it's clear day, you can see four islands from this top. La Palma, El Hierro, uh, Tenerife and even sometimes you can see Gran Canaria. The Canary Islands are a piece of heaven in the Atlantic, with a bit of overdeveloped tourist infrastructure to be authentic sometimes. But this doesn't play down the charm of most of the places you can visit. No wonder they are called Fortunate Isles by Spaniards, matching the islands cited in Greek mythology as paradise. <laughs> 